In part four of lecture two, we will look at an example incorporating methods. Let's take a look at a program where we will break down a lot more of the work into separate methods, which will be called by the main method. Ivy College uses a grading system where the passing grades are A, B, C, and D, and where F or any grade other than A, B, C, or D is a failing grade. Assuming that the courses all have equal weight and that the letter grades have the following numerical value, A is four, B is three, C is two, D is one, and F is zero. Let's write a program that will calculate a student's grade point average. Before we go on, let's look at an addition to this. We're going to have the program write a congratulatory message if the student made Dean's List. We will write a function Dean's List that will print the congratulatory message and another one called print instructions. Let's examine what we're being asked to do. We know that the inputs that we will have will be the grades of the student. The required output is the grade point average and a congratulatory message if it's appropriate. We also have other information available to us. A is four, B is three, and so on. And that if we add up these numerical equivalents and divide by the number of grades, we will have the grade point average. Let's start with our initial algorithm. We'll print an introductory message. We will add up the numerical equivalents of all the grades. We will calculate the grade point average and print it out. And if appropriate, we will print a congratulatory message. We begin as usual with import Java util scanner. Now we begin the class by writing its header, public class Dean's list. And after the open brace, we're ready to begin a program. We begin with a comment about the main method, calculates a grade point average, assuming that all courses have the same point value and that A, B, C, and D are passing grades and that all other grades are failing. Now we write the header for the main method, public static void main string args, and after the open brace, we're ready to declare variables. Scanner keyboard equals new scanner system in means that we now have keyboard input available for us. Int num courses equals zero, initialized like that because we don't yet know how many courses there are. Care grade. Now we are going to need to use a string to read in a value. We will simply take the first character at the beginning of the string. String input string equals new string. We'll do that input for us. Double GPA total equals zero. And now we'll do the first instruction, which is print instructions. We now need to get the first course grade. System out Printlin, what grade did you get in your first class? Then input string equals keyboard next, which will read the first collection of characters typed up to the first white space character. And then grade equals input string dot carat zero. And I'll take the first character at the beginning of the string that you just read in. Next, add up the numerical equivalence of the grades. While grade is not equal to X, X being what will end the program for us. After the open brace, we have convert an A to a four, B to a three and so on, and add it to the total. And here you can see the long run of ifs and else's. If grade is equal to A, total equals total plus four. Else if grade is equal to B, total equals total plus three. Else if grade is equal to C, total equals total plus two. Else if grade is equal to D, total equals total plus one. 
Else if grade is not equal to F, system out println a grade of, and the grade, is assumed to be an F, a new line, and that's it. We don't add anything to total because any failing grade counts as a zero. But one thing we now do is add one to num courses by writing num courses plus plus. Now the comment, get the next course grade. System out println, what grade did you get in the next course? Input string equals keyboard next. Grade equals input string car at zero and then a close brace to end the loop. Now we write divide the point total by the number of classes to get the grade point average and print it. And thus GPA equals total divided by num courses. And now we'll use a formatted print so we get the GPA in the format that we want with exactly two decimal places. System out printf and inside the open parenthesis quote your grade point average is percent 4.2 F backslash N, unquote, and then GPA. That will print out the GPA with exactly two decimal places. And then Dean's list, GPA. We begin the print instructions method by writing print instructions, print instructions for the user. Public static void main print instructions open and close parentheses with nothing inside and an open brace. Now a comment, print an introductory method. System out println, this program calculates your grade point average. System out println, assuming that all courses have the same point. System out println value. It also assumes that grades of A, B, C, and D, system out println are passing and that all other grades are failing. System up print to indicate that you are finished, enter grade of quote X unquote. Now you'll notice that I have a new line at the end of each of the statements except for the last one. This means we'll be printing this double spaced. You'll notice also that I have two at the end of the last one to separate this from what's going to come afterward. We begin the method Dean's list by writing a comment. Dean's list, print a message if he or she made Dean's list. We begin the method with public static void Dean's list, open parenthesis, double GPA, close parenthesis, open brace. We need a parameter here because this is how the main program gives this method the information it needs to do its job. Inside the method, we now have if GPA is greater than or equal to 3.2, system out println, congratulations, you made Dean's list. Now we have a closed brace for the method and a closed brace for the class, the entire program.